Academic Recession.
Please, Please remain standing and enjoy Lauren Lynn Schaefer, Master of Music, vocal performance degree candidate, in singing our, our national anthem. anthem. Thank, Thank you, Lauren, Lauren and the Midwinter School, School of Music, Music Commencement Band. Band. Please, Please be seated. seated. Good, morning. Good morning. I'm, I'm Carl, Carl Schultz, Schultz, the Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to our 2019 Winter Commencement Ceremony. As provost at UW-Madison, I work with the deans and directors of all the schools and colleges to ensure that we are offering academic programs and an overall educational experience that is second to none. Our faculty pride themselves on our deep commitment to undergraduate, graduate, and professional education, and I am very proud of the hard work and effort put forth by each and every faculty and staff member here on our campus. Graduates, I hope that during your time on campus you have been introduced to and embraced the Wisconsin idea. This is the notion that the university is not bounded by campus borders, but should be present in all parts of the state. The Wisconsin idea tells us that the university should reach out and serve the citizens of the state, the nation, and beyond. If we have done it right, you are the embodiment of the Wisconsin idea. You will take what you've learned here and demonstrate to the world the value of a Wisconsin education. As you use your education and you serve others, the world will be better because of your time here. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce you to the members of our official party. I'm going to ask each of you to stand up when your name is called and remain standing. And I'll ask the audience to please hold your applause until all members of the platform party have been introduced. Rebecca Blank, Chancellor. Our keynote speaker, Jason Gay. Our student speaker, Lisa Kamal. Eric Wilcots, inter Interim Dean of the College of Letters and Science. Robert Golden, Dean of the School of Medicine and Public Health. Linda Scott, Dean of the School of Nursing. Catherine Vandenbosch, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Julie Mead, Associate Dean of the School of Education. Stephen Swanson, Dean of the School of Pharmacy. Stephen Ackerman, Interim Vice Chancellor for Research and Graduate Education. Christina Olstad, Dean of Students. Sarah Schutt, Chief Alumni Engagement Officer and Executive Director of the Wisconsin Alumni Association. Ray Cross, UW System President. Tracy Klein, UW System Board of Regents. William Karpus, Dean of the Graduate School. Margaret Raymond, Dean of the Law School. Vilao Samba Morthe, Dean of the School of Business. 
Ian Robertson, Dean of the College of Engineering. Soyan Shim, Dean of the School of Human Ecology. Mark Markell, Dean of the School of Veterinary Medicine. Lori Resor, Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. Charles Hoslett, Vice Chancellor for University Relations. Ray Tafora, Vice Chancellor for Legal Affairs. Carl Martin, Interim Dean of the Cooperative Extension. Guido Podesta, Vice Provost and Dean of the International Division. Patrick Sims, Deputy Vice Chancellor for Diversity and Inclusion, Vice Provost and Chief Diversity Officer. Susan Zeski, Interim Director of the Division of the Arts. Scott Ovchadek, University Registrar. Jeffrey Russell, Vice Provost of Lifelong Learning and Dean of the Division of Continuing Studies. Paul Robbins, Dean of the Nelson Institute for Environmental Studies. Jane Richards, Interim Secretary of the Faculty. Terry Warfield, Chair of the University Committee, the Executive Committee of Faculty Senate, and the Richard J. Johnson Chair of the Department of Accounting and Information Systems. Please join me in welcoming these distinguished individuals. I would now like to introduce Rebecca Blank, Chancellor of the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Chancellor Blank has led this great university since 2013. She is an internationally respected economist who also spent time in Washington, D.C., working in three different presidential administrations, most recently as Deputy Secretary and Acting Secretary of the U.S. Department of Commerce under President Obama. Chancellor Blank received her undergraduate degree in economics from the University of Minnesota and holds a doctoral degree in economics from MIT. She has served on the faculty at Princeton, Northwestern, and the University of Michigan, where she was dean of the Gerald R. Ford School of Public Policy. As chancellor, she has committed herself to maintaining the university's position as one of the world's top centers for discovery and research, educating students to compete in a global economy, and helping UW experts share knowledge and innovation with the state, the nation, and the world, what we call, as you have heard, the Wisconsin idea. Please welcome Chancellor Blank. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the winter 2019 commencement of the University of Wisconsin in Madison. Congratulations to new graduates and a warm welcome to all family and friends. I also want to welcome and thank our guest speaker today. Jason Gay is a Wall Street Journal columnist, a sports reporter, and a UW alum who has built a career arguing why the University of Wisconsin Badgers are better than the University of Michigan Wolverines or any other Big Ten team. In other words, Jason has figured out how to get paid for what most of you do for free. <laughs> Jason, we are all looking forward to hearing from you, and I very much want to thank you for being here. Class of 2019, you're graduating at an historic year for the university. We're marking the anniversaries of two important events that changed our campus. The first, 2019, is the 150th anniversary of the first women to earn bachelor's degree from UW-Madison. There were six women in that class. You're gonna hear more about them in just a moment and their legacy in a brief video that we'll show. The second event, 50 years ago, following the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King, students here at UW and indeed around the country staged protests to draw attention to systematic discrimination that was excluding students of color and I might note faculty of color from higher education. Here in Madison, the black student strike ultimately involved close to 10,000 faculty, staff, and students. It led to the creation of the Afro-American Studies Department and prompted the administration to make diversity a priority. 
both of those anniversaries. That's worth applause, too. Both of those anniversaries remind us that we're a public institution that opens its doors to provide a college degree for everyone who can show they're ready to take on the academic rigors of this place. While we've not always lived up to that promise, at times we have been less welcoming than we should have been, it is imperative that we remember our history and that we learn from it to become an even better institution. So whoever you are, if you want to engage in the learning that takes place on this campus, you are welcome here. Today, we confer 1,770 degrees upon our undergraduate, graduate, and professional school students. About two-thirds of you are here in person, and some others will participate in the ceremony in the spring. December graduates are an interesting group. It is um, pretty unlikely that you came to UW planning to graduate in December. Some of you took a little more time to reach that milestone. Maybe you did internships or studied abroad. Some of you took a little less time because you focused like a laser on completing your degree. And some of you have overcome great challenges to reach this moment. For today, for you, this has special meaning. And I want to share just, just one of your stories. Uma Ima Mohammed Saeed was 11 years old when her family had to flee their home in Baghdad after a threat from Al-Qaeda. For the next seven years, they were refugees. There was no opportunity to work or go to school, so Uma Ima's mother homeschooled her and her siblings. Then in 2014, the United States granted them asylum, and they settled in Wisconsin. Uma Ima worked hard to build her academic skills and finally achieved her goal of admission to UW-Madison. Today, she earns her bachelor's degree in human development and family studies from the School of Human Ecology. She hopes to go on for a master's degree in our School of Medicine and Public Health. She is here with her parents and her siblings, who are now UW students. Congratulations to Uma Ima. I want to make a few observations today about the value of the degree that you're receiving, which represents one of the biggest investments that you or your parents will ever make. As one of our students described his graduation in December, I am definitely hoping this is the most expensive ticket I will ever buy to the call center. <laughs> in your time here at UW, there's been debate about whether a college education is worth it. In the last year alone, the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post all published pieces questioning the value of a college degree. Now, before I became chancellor, as the provost noted, I was trained as an economist. And as an economist, I am entirely mystified by those who question the value of a college degree. Simply put, you have made the best investment you will ever make. The uh, monetary returns on a college edge degree are higher now than they have been at any time in the past 50 years. College graduates earn far more than non-college graduates, and that remains true even if you adjust for the differences between those who do and don't go to college. It's clear, this university gives you skills that this global economy values more and more every day. But it's not just about the money. College graduates are more satisfied with their jobs and express greater life satisfaction than people without college degrees. 
They're more likely to marry, less likely to divorce. They're healthier. They live longer than non-college grads. They're more involved in communities where they live and more likely to do volunteer work and to vote. Now, you've chosen particularly well, and I will say this is the chancellor here, because you're graduating from a school that is consistently ranked as one of the best values in the United States. But a value of a college degree reflects a lot more than just the educational quality and the price of tuition at the institution that you attend. It also sends a reputational signal about who you are. So what will your diploma from the University of Wisconsin tell the world about you? Let me start with the obvious answers. A UW degree tells the world you understand the value of deep fried cheese curds. It tells the world that you believe shorts are not an unreasonable clothing choice on a 40 degree March day. It tells the world you will always root for Badger teams and that you know there is no better place on earth on a warm summer evening than the Union Terrace. But to be more serious, this is one of the top 25 universities in the world. The credential you receive today is a signal of excellence. Your credential tells the world you have deep knowledge of your academic field and the ability to function in a big, complex, and occasionally daunting institution. But there's another thing that makes the University of Wisconsin in Madison special. That is our profound sense of responsibility to be involved with the world and to be part of changing the world for better. That is the Wisconsin idea. And the class of 2019 has embraced this epic in a big way. You've helped make UW the number one school in the country for Peace Corps volunteers. That's worth applause. You've helped make the Madison community a better place by doing 31,000 hours of community volunteer work in the last year alone. And you've set a new record for voting on this campus and turned out to vote in far higher numbers than your peers at most other schools. As one of our alums said recently, people like to talk about all the things that someone really ought to be doing, but at UW, they're actually doing those things. But very few people can tackle serious problems on their own. To make a difference in the world, you also have to know how to collaborate. There's a growing body of research that shows that groups solve problems better than individuals, and diverse groups solve problems even better. And I hope you've learned something about how to work with people from many different fields and different backgrounds while you were here, while living in the dorms, while being part of a student club, while participating in group projects. And no matter what school, college, department, institute, or research center you've been part of, I hope you've experienced an extraordinary community of scholars collaborating across many different fields. I hope you'll stay connected with those friends and with your colleagues here at UW, and that you will use your education to make this world a little better. Let me close by asking you to do something. Friends and family, this means you too. Take a moment to look at the people around you, next to you, right, left, in front, behind. Today, we're part of something that is rare in this country and even on this planet, a peaceful and joyful gathering of people from across the world, of every race and every religion, People from Beijing, China, Miami, Florida, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and every point in between. People whose families started on every rung of the economic ladder. We're all members of one big Badger family. This community is what a great,
public university can create. Our doors are wide open to Wisconsin and to the world. Families, thank you for the support, the love you've given your students over these years. Thank you for sharing these wonderful people with us. Students, thank you for making this university a better place while you were here. Keep in touch. Let us know how you're doing. I can't wait to hear what you're going to accomplish in the years ahead. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you, and on Wisconsin. I told you earlier that 2019 is the anniversary of the graduation of the first six women to earn bachelor's degrees here at UW-Madison in 1869. We've been celebrating this all year long. Our celebration not only recognizes those first graduates, but the opening up of possibility and opportunity that all of our graduates, regardless of gender, continue to experience. Here are a few of their stories. Ever wonder what puts the W in UW? Why women, of course. We're celebrating UW women at 150. Imagine Wisconsin 150 years ago. It was 1863, the height of the American Civil War. The fledgling University of Wisconsin had lost much of its male population to the battlefield. The times were right to admit women. Such a great start. Except women were later put into separate classes in the female college. By 1869, the first group of trailblazers was ready to graduate. We know they became a lawyer, a high school principal, and a prominent suffragist who worked with Susan B. Anthony. But before commencement, there was a holdup. President Chadbourne scoffed at the idea of conferring bachelor's degrees to women. Did you ever wonder why it's called a bachelor's degree in the first place? Fortunately, the Board of Regents decided that women should receive the same degree as men. They also decided to honor President Chadbourne by naming a building after him the first all-women dormitory, Chadbourne Hall. Women officially received full co-educational status in 1874 and began taking classes with men. They started working in biology labs and studying geology. At last, women had their chance to delve into science. One of our alumni became the first woman geologist in the United States, Florence Bascom, daughter of former UW president, John Bascom. The work of another alumna, bacteriologist Alice Evans, led to one of the most important advances in public health in the 20th century, pasteurized milk. At the UW, women in science were here to stay. The first known African-American woman graduated from the UW in 1918. Mabel Watson Ramey was fired from her first job as a teacher because she was black. She went on to become the state's first female African-American lawyer. Soon, other UW women followed in her footsteps. Women like Val Phillips, the first African-American woman to graduate from the UW Law School, and the first woman and African-American to be elected to Milwaukee's Common Council. Phillips championed fair housing and civil rights and went on to become Milwaukee's first female judge and Wisconsin's first African-American judge. We named a residence hall after her. In every aspect of the collegiate experience, UW women excelled. They proved their strength in physical education and showed their aptitude for 3D design. Women participated in sports like basketball as early as 1900. All across campus, women pursued their passions. They didn't hold back on having fun and still don't. But UW women also took life seriously. In the Army Nurse Corps during World War II, Sidney Scott Cooper saw that nurses were much more than physicians handmaidens. She devoted 60 years to nursing education at UW and supported a 21st century vision for the School of Nursing. The theater was the stage for a different battle. 
civil rights. Alumna Lorraine Hansberry's award-winning drama, A Raisin in the Sun, became the first play by an African-American woman to be produced on Broadway. In the arts, UW women transformed modern dance. Margaret Dobler founded the first academic dance department in the nation. Sona Gale was the first woman to receive the Pulitzer Prize for Drama. Gerda Lerner founded the nation's first graduate program in women's history. Ada Deer was the first woman to lead a tribal nation and the Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs. The first female drum major in the Big Ten was UW's Dee Willems. The first woman and youngest person to head a Big Ten University police force, Sue Risen. The first female chancellor in the Big Ten, UW Madison's Donna Shalala. Biddy Martin was UW's second female chancellor, and now, me. There are so many more firsts for UW women. And when it comes to national championship teams, Badger women win! Looking back, we realize how far UW women have come in 150 years. Where will you go next? Forward and on Wisconsin. I love, I love that, that video. <laughs> I am now delighted to introduce our speaker representing the University of Wisconsin System Board of Regents, Regent Tracy Klein. Regent Klein is a UW Madison alum who served on the Board of Regents since 2016. She is also an attorney and shareholder in the Polsonelli Law Firm in Milwaukee, where she specializes in advising hospitals and healthcare providers. If you're from Milwaukee, you may have benefited from her work to improve civic engagement. Among other things, she's been a leader in support for independent filmmakers, making Milwaukee a destination for great cinema. Here at UW-Madison, we know Regent Klein best from her long service on the Board of Visitors for our Political Science Department. She is a loyal Badger. Please join me in welcoming Regent Tracy Klein. Thank you, Chancellor Blank. Class of 2019, on behalf of the University of Wisconsin Board of Regents, I wish you warmest and well-deserved congratulations. I am especially proud to be here today because as Chancellor Blank mentioned, I'm a proud Badger too. This is my alma mater. I arrived here um, when I was 17 years old and I thought a portal to the universe had opened up. For all of us here, I believe the University of Wisconsin-Madison is a place of personal growth and exploration, where we've learned about the world and where we've learned to discuss the issues of the day in civil dialogue. Trust me, you won't ever forget your preparation here, um, whether it was something you learned in an art history course or sitting on a sunny afternoon at the terrace. Your preparation here has imbued you with the knowledge and critical thinking skills necessary for success. So don't ever be afraid to ask that question. Is what I'm hearing correct? Did I actually get an answer to that question? What is the appropriate and ethical response to the problem presented? You are a living embodiment of the Wisconsin idea, and as is our tradition, we follow the truth wherever it leads. The University of Wisconsin system is the, one of the finest public institutions of higher education in the nation, and Madison is its crown jewel. University of Wisconsin-Madison is ranked eighth in the world in research dollars awarded. There are 25 Nobel laureates associated with Madison as alumni, faculty, or researchers, and this year, two of our UW-Madison faculty members received MacArthur Genius Grants. The Milwaukee Journal Sentinel said it all in a headline last week. We need 10 more Madisons to drive our economy in this state and in this region. And yet, we are true to our mission to educate the people of Wisconsin. Of the 3,700 new freshmen that are from our state, one-fifth of those Wisconsin students 
attending Madison receive Bucky's tuition promise, which ensures the costs of their tuition and fees are covered. 54% of our seniors graduate without debt, and our average student graduation, graduation rate is an amazing 3.96 years. So as you leave here today, you leave as a graduate of a world-class university, one the world calls one of the public ivies. So I have three thoughts to leave with you. One is, I hope you will find a way to stay connected. It will benefit you in whatever you choose to do in your life and in your career. So, so try to find a way to stay connected. Secondly, I would say, be ambitious, conquer the world, have a big life but err on the side of kindness and tolerance in everything you do, because that's our tradition and that's who we are. And last but not least, there will be peace on earth if the Wisconsin Badgers beat the Oregon Ducks in the 2020 <laughs> Orange Bowl. So congratulations to all of you and go Badgers. unexpected and awesome. <laughs> thank, thank you, Regent Klein, for your remarks. Our keynote speaker today has joked that he got into UW-Madison only because a sleepy admissions officer put his application in the wrong stack. We know better. Jason Gay is creative, clever, wise, and funny. Attributes that no doubt jumped out on his application and that today make us very proud to claim him as a Badger. Jason earned a bachelor's degree from UW-Madison in 1992. He, has, he majored in political science, but as you'll see, his career has taken him in a number of unexpected and interesting directions. As a journalist, Jason has been a writer and editor for publications ranging from Rolling Stone and GQ to the New York Observer in Vogue. Currently, he is the sports columnist for the Wall Street Journal, where he occasionally, but firmly, informs readers that the Badgers are the best athletes in the world, and that the Michigan Wolverines must be stopped at any cost for the good of humanity. <laughs> While Jason can be given to just a bit of hyperbole, it is not an exaggeration to say he is considered by many to be the best sports journalist working today. The Society of Professional Journalists said as much in 2016, naming him Sports Columnist of the Year. Jason also writes a humor column for the review section of the Wall Street Journal, and in 2016, he was a finalist for the Thurber Prize for American Humor for his bestseller, Little Victories. The book is full of rules for living, some hilarious, some heartfelt, but all filtered through Jason's unique worldview. Please join me in giving a warm badger welcome to Jason Gay. Uh, if you can indulge me for one second. had to be done. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for that kind introduction. Yes, it's true. It's me, J.J. Watt. <laughs> no, the truth is, my name is indeed Jason Gay, and I am the sports columnist for the Wall Street Journal, which is kind of like being the money and investing columnist for ESPN. <laughs> you know, when I was first asked to deliver the winter commencement speech to the class of 2019 at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, I had the exact same reaction that you had. Why? <laughs> I mean, there must have been a terrible mistake. There was a giant mix-up. I assume they sent the invitation to the wrong person. I mean, Chancellor Blank, she's very busy. You know, she was probably typing an email. She meant to type in J.J. Watt again and got my name. She typed in Jason, and eight weeks later, here we are. But I won't lie, everybody up here has been 
very cool about covering up for the mistake, I, pretending they actually meant to do this. You've all been extremely kind, and I'm grateful. But make no mistake, some people are definitely going to get fired for this. <laughs> I mean, come on, a Wall Street Journal columnist? You know, if there is one thing I remember from my time in Madison, it was how first thing in the morning, after a long night on State Street, my friends and I used to love to roll out of bed and curl up with a nice, warm, broadsheet copy of the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> my friends, there are graduates of this school who have won Nobel Prizes, Oscars, Super Bowls. J.J. Watt, he raised $40 million for needy people in Houston. Me? That's right, $40 million. And me? I ate 27 griddle cakes at Mickey's Dairy Bar this morning. <laughs> it's true. I'm just some guy who writes about sports in a daily financial newspaper, which might be read by some of your parents and grandparents and great-grandparents and great-great-great-grandparents, and occasionally uses that column to make fun of those deadbeats at the University of Michigan. It's, it's true. true. I believe wolverines are weasels. <laughs> Technically, badgers are related to weasels, too. But we are considerably cuter and smarter, and we win more football games. I actually thought for a moment that some people from Ann Arbor might show up here and protest my speech. I thought that would be really, really cool. And then I remembered, Michigan never shows up in Wisconsin. <laughs> it's true, it's true. You know, at the Wall Street Journal, I'm surrounded by wolverines. I got wolverines to my right, wolverines to my left. I do my best to avoid them. But every once in a while, I'll run into them in the office, pushing very hard on a door that says pull. <laughs> anyway, enough about Michigan. Let's do a proper welcome, like they told me in the instruction manual. Congratulations to you all, the University of Wisconsin-Madison class of 2019. <laughs> Congratulations to you, to your parents, to your grandparents, to your great-grandparents, to your siblings, your kiddos if you got them, to your professors, your assistant professors, your TAs, your friends, your significant others, your exes, your enemies, your landlords, your baristas, your bartenders, your freshmen, your roommate who clipped their nails in the middle of the night, and also to the person who woke you up in your seat 30 seconds ago and said, look at the guy on stage with the funny hair. Congratulations on a mission well done. Today is a true life milestone for you and for me. And to think, if you had all just waited a little later to graduate, we could all be outside in the nice springtime weather. But I love it. You know, this feels like proper Wisconsin weather today. My children, my children are with me here today. They're, they're up there uh, watching Toy Story 3 on an iPad. <laughs> They'd never been to Wisconsin before, and yesterday we had a real, authentic Badger experience. I took my children outside. We were right by the lake. It was windy, and I showed them Lake Mendota, and the wind was blowing in their faces, and I said, well, kids, here it is, one of Daddy's favorite places on Earth, Madison, Wisconsin. And they looked for one and a half seconds, and then we sprinted as fast as we could into the nearest warm building. 
but I envy you. I miss this place. My time in Madison, like yours, was some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. You know, honestly, if I regret anything, it's graduating in four years. What was I thinking? I could have at least stretched it out to six. Maybe, Maybe seven. seven. If I hadn't finished that last term paper, I could still be here. Back when I was at Wisconsin, it was quite common for students to take a long time to graduate. But I heard something the other day from someone in the administration that was quite troubling. The average Wisconsin student now graduates in less than four years. Modern Badgers, I hate to say this, but you are doing it entirely wrong. <laughs> what is your hurry? I say, stay in Madison as long as possible. Have you been out there in the real world? Have you seen what it's like out there? Do you watch the cable news? Life does not get better than this. It may get warmer, but it does not get any better. I went to school here in the 1990s, the early 1990s. These were simpler, primitive times. <laughs> Back then, Wisconsin was a sovereign rule glacial moraine, <laughs> occupied primarily by woodchucks and kids from the Chicago suburbs. <laughs> there were only two buildings on campus, Humanities and State Street Brats. The rest of the city, cow pasture. <laughs> I mean, students back then, we didn't have social media or smartphones. We didn't even have the internet. I actually have no idea how we spent all of our time. We communicated with each other through a, something called a telephone, a, a crude device, usually affixed to a wall, through which human beings talk to each other verbally without using emojis. We listened to Cypress Hill, A Tribe Called Quest, The Grateful Dead, and a new band named Nirvana. We wore a lot of terrible baggy clothes. We survived mostly on bratwurst and Babcock's ice cream. And we never, ever won any sporting events. It was like going to school at Northwestern. <laughs> These were different times, different times. My old college roommate is here today. We used to live around the corner on West Mifflin Street. And if you think it's bizarre to see me up here giving a commencement speech, imagine how he feels. <laughs> I still owe him rent money. Somehow, we made it through, we survived. Made it to the end just like you today. What a fantastic class this is. So young, so motivated, so much smarter than me. There are Badgers today graduating from more than two dozen different countries. Faraway places like Australia, Kenya, Denmark, Stevens Point, Iraq, Venezuela, Eau Claire, Poland, Finland, Sheboygan, <laughs> Ghana, Iceland, Appleton, Zimbabwe, Oshkosh, Uganda, the Syrian Arab Republic, Fond du Lac, Peru, Waukesha, Oman, and of course the proud independent Arctic nation of Green Bay. <laughs> My congratulations to all of you. You are Badgers for life. It is honestly the best thing to be. I mean, look at Chancellor Blank. She went to the University of Minnesota. <laughs> and then she got another degree from a two-month a two online internet college called MIT. 
Then she worked at Princeton, which is another online internet college, <laughs> and then Northwestern and Michigan. She basically spent her entire career behind enemy lines. <laughs> but now, she's a badger. She's a badger for life. You know, Chancellor Blank, she recently went for her physical, and her doctor told her her bloodstream is now 70% cheese curds. <laughs> which, as we all know, is quite healthy. And the statewide average. That's, That's what Wisconsin does to you. And today, today is a special day. You're about to go out into this wide, wide world with only one firm obligation. And you know what it is. You can't move back into your parents' house. <laughs> I mean, come on. Your parents, this college journey of yours began with big aspirations. Maybe you were the first person in your college to ever go to college. Maybe you'd become a neurosurgeon, or an astronaut, or a lawyer, or a movie director. Or best of all, maybe you'd become a brand influencer, or Instagram, or TikTok. <laughs> now, all your parents want is for you to not move back into the house. Even if they say they want you to move back in the house, even if your mom says, ah, it'd be kind of nice to have my baby back in the house again, your mom is lying. <laughs> she does not really mean that. Mom and dad have moved on. <laughs> They've taken your childhood bedroom and turned it into a lounge with a pool table, a trampoline, and a tiki bar. <laughs> okay, that's not true. I'll level up. Here's the truth. Your mom and dad are growing marijuana in your childhood bedroom. <laughs> Come on, it's basically legal now. It's a multi-billion dollar business, and it's only going to get bigger. Just trust me, your parents don't want you back in the house. Still, it might happen, it might. I know this because I moved back into the house. <laughs> oh boy, was that fun. Graduating from college, where I had my own apartment, full autonomy over my life coming home, waking up in the morning, going into the kitchen where I grew up, and being greeted by the death stares of my mom and dad. <laughs> dad would be there in his Oxford and khakis, ready for work. Mom would be halfway out the door to her job. And I'd be standing there, shirtless, in my Bucky Badger pajama bottoms, waiting for them to leave so I could go back to bed. Somehow, I got out of there, and you will too. And if I can impart one bit of wisdom as you go out into that great big world, it's this. Are you ready? This is the big reveal. Nobody, nobody out there really knows what they're doing. I know, I know. This is not the kind of thing that somebody is supposed to admit in a college commencement speech. I'm supposed to be up here delivering sage life lessons and pearls of hard-earned insight. But I promise you, this is insight. This is quite sage. It really is a great secret of life that we're often sadly too embarrassed and too self-conscious to admit. Nobody out there has it all completely figured out. Everyone's scrambling in their own way every day. Don't believe those charlatans out there who are writing self-help books. There's a whole industry of know-it-alls. Nonsense. Ignore it. 
people who have their life, or people who claim that they have life all figured out, they have it figured out less than anyone. I mean, even your parents, your parents, I mean, they're battling too. You know, your parents, they seem so smart and so together. You know, they can pay for dinner and fold laundry. But trust me, they're making this up as they go along too. And this is good. This is truthful and honest. It is healthy and human. It's incredibly important to acknowledge our vulnerabilities, our frailties, and our imperfections in all the times that we're struggling. There's zero shame in that, to struggle, to occasionally get it wrong. I mean, I'm a sports columnist. I get it wrong somewhere between three and 450 times a week. My life is constantly humbling. I was thinking about this as I sat down to write this speech 45 minutes ago at Helen C. White. <laughs> and, you know, 11 years ago to this day, I was laid off, like so many people were at the recession at the end of this decade. I was handed that sad cardboard box and told to pack up my stuff. It was barely a week before Christmas. And I remember going home to my tiny New York apartment, to my future wife, Bessie, who is also here today, also watching Toy Story 3 on an iPad. <laughs> but back then, she was sitting there in our tiny New York apartment, and as tears began to well in my eyes, I said, honey, I don't know how, but exactly 11 years from now, I am going to give the winter commencement address <laughs> to the class of 2019 at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. <laughs> also, honey, I don't know how I know this, but Donald Trump will be president, <laughs> and there will be a TV show with a baby Yoda. I didn't say I did. those things. I don't remember what I said, but I remember how I felt. I remember thinking, this is really humbling, but it's also strangely exciting. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to relive any of that again. And I think it's important as you go out there to do the homework, to prepare, to take the serious stuff seriously. But I always think, that at all times it's useful to carry a little humility with you, to recognize that we are not always fully in control of our own stories, how often it's moments of chaos and luck and strange bends of the universe that conspire to teach us and push us and challenge us and bring us to thrilling events like this ceremony today. A quick story. Not long ago, a minister in California named Lydia Sohn interviewed a bunch of people between the ages of 90 and 96. These were really old people. These people remembered the first time the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. <laughs> and she interviewed them about happiness. And there's a belief that human happiness happens on a curve. People are said to be happiness when they're very, very young and don't have a care in the world, like my kids up there who are now watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the iPad. And then, on the other side of the curve, people are supposedly happiest again when they are later in life, when they are older, retired, and liberated to enjoy the little things like spending their grandchildren's college fund on a condo in Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> and in the middle of the curve, which is the part that I'm in and the part that you're about to go into, this is supposedly the hard part, the tough part. This is when people go out into the world, they get jobs, have kids, there are crises, relationships happen, relationships fall apart, 
perfectly good adults start walking around in public in sweatpants. This should be the hardest part, the unhappy part. It makes sense, doesn't it? But these 90 to 96 year olds, they told Reverend Sohn, they told her, they told her something different. They said they were happiest in the harsh middle part when their lives were the craziest and messiest, when all their kids were still in the house and tracking mud through the living room and setting small fires in the backyard. They were happiness when they were trying to balance all of it, work and family and figuring out how to pay for things. These people, they were approaching 100 years old and they told her they were happiest when their lives were the most chaotic. I think that's remarkable wisdom. My friends, you're about to step out into this beautiful chaos. You're probably going to have a job or two or 12 that you don't really like. You're going to have good bosses and bad bosses and many, many mediocre bosses. You're going to worry about money. You're going to freak out about where you should live. You're going to get your heart broken a few times, both professionally and personally. And I hate to say it, but at least one night a year, you will sit in your bedroom and eat an entire cheese pizza all by yourself. <laughs> Maybe that was last night. <laughs> but please, as you go out there, remember this. Nobody is a life expert. Nobody has it all figured out. Everyone is making this up as they go along, at least partly. So embrace that uncertainty and chaos. Be kind and civil to your fellow human beings, even on the internet. Call your mom and dad on the phone every now and again. Text messages don't count. And do me a favor, read a newspaper. Newspapers are still really good for you, just like cheese curds. My sincere congratulations to every single one of you. You have my gratitude and my awestruck admiration. Promise me that when you walk out these doors into that wonderful, life-affirming Wisconsin cold, you'll change the world and then you'll sprint back into the nearest building and warm yourselves up back again. Thank you. Thank you, Jason, for those remarks. At this time, we will now confer our doctoral and professional degree candidates. I call upon William Carpus, Dean of the Graduate School. Candidates for the degrees Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Musical Arts, and Master of Fine Arts will please rise. Chancellor Blank. Dean Carpus. These scholars have devoted significant time to graduate study and research. In addition, they have defended theses or presented exhibitions that have been accepted by faculty committees as substantial contributions, signifying scholarly or professional achievement in their respective fields. They are presented for the highest academic recognition in their fields given by the university, the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Musical Arts, or Master of Fine Arts. On the recommendation of the faculty of the Graduate School and under the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of Wisconsin System, you will receive the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Musical Arts, or Master of Fine Arts. In testimony thereof, you will receive your diplomas. Candidates, please be seated.
I now, I now call, call upon Robert Golden, Dean of the School of Medicine and Public Health. Candidates for the degrees Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Master of Genetic Counselor Studies, Master of Physician Assistant Studies, and Master of Public Health will please rise. Chancellor Blank. Dean Golden. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of the courses of study in medicine, physical therapy, medical genetics, physician <laughs> assistant studies, or public health. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Medicine and Public Health, I present these candidates for degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Medicine and Public Health, and under the authority granted by the University of Wisconsin System Board of Regents, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Master of Genetic Counseling Studies, Master of Physical Assistant Studies, or Master of Public Health. In testimony thereof, you and your colleagues will receive your degrees. <laughs> Please be seated. I now, I now call upon Margaret Raymond, Dean of the Law School. Candidates for the degrees Juris Doctor, Master of Laws, and Master of Laws in Legal Institutions will please rise. Chancellor Blank. Dean Raymond. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of the courses in law. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the law school, I present these candidates for degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of the law school and under the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of Wisconsin System, you will receive the degree Juris Doctor, Master of Laws, or Master of Laws Legal Institutions. In testimony thereof, you will receive your diplomas. Candidates, please be seated. I now call upon Linda Scott, Dean of the School of Nursing, Candidates for the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice will please rise. Chancellor Blank. Dean Scott. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of the courses in nursing. Upon recommendation of the faculty of the School of Nursing, I present these candidates for degrees. On the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Nursing, and under the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of Wisconsin System, you will receive the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice. In testimony thereof, you will receive your diplomas. Please be seated. <laughs> Candidates, please remain seated until the marshals instruct you to proceed to the platform. and Master of Fine Arts. Chianan Jade. Thomas Bryan. Ethan Eric Peterson.
Christopher Van Dam. Congratulations. Gengian Zhao. Courtney Grant. Joel Kapanen. Kyung Soo Kim. Sissy Ondoma Nakaja. Elise Oronso Knudsen. Jiaxuan Yang. Julian Lynch. Fernando Moreira. Rafael Caputo. Gong Yang. Yakun Zhang. Jennifer Yost. Jennifer Estes. Nathan Green. Kurt Ehlert. Mike White. Kevin Crombie. David O'Brien. Han Jitian. Hyunjun Oh. Bo In Choi. Vidisha Mohan. Sean Tacey. Nathan Byer. Drew Deering. David Rutkowski. Rafael Madero. Karina Lugo. Theory Kremeyer. John Crutty. Samuel Nyans. Evelyn Galindo. Cherie Peters. Saliena Steiner. Juliana Falero. Hansuel Stephanie Lee. Emily Caudell. Nicholas Reed. Katie Ono. Aubrey Bernard. Mike Kelleher. Edward Evans. Michael Becker. Molly Harris. Caroline Hardin. Zhao K. Wei. Blake Smith. Xiyun Jin. Arthur Fernandez. Anna Facetti Asumciao. An Chi Fu. Megan Koch. Sarah Hay. Zhou Jun Yao. Katarina Dubiel. So He Hyun. 
Kashuk Sabrumian, Elias Uden, Xiao Zhang, Adeola Agoke, Sarah Farsiu, Hugo Cesar Medino Munoz, Michael Towers, Sarah Wilson, David Lung, Megan McCahey, Sherry Marie Blumenstock, Brianne Rose Pitts, Yang Liu, Ning Sun, Taylor Weichman, Deborah Rose Garvey, Jeremy Hemberger, Rista Plate, Angela Moeni Wellman, Danielle Rendina, Jeong Hee Lee, Teresa Pesavento, Thatcher Sparrow, Carlos R. Marti Figuero, Yaidi Cancel Martinez, School of Medicine, Sarah Clifford, Allison Rodriguez. Law School. Zeyuan Wei. Qianyan Sun. Wanling Huang. Sung Pil Huang. Sophia Dolan. McKenna Quinter. Catherine Potratz. Dallas Anderson, Gordon Coachman, Patrick Malloy, Brian Jonathan Sadel, Jedediah John Dodge, Adam Mayers, Supawit Ketisuk, Onjira Kiatla Makun. Nathia Pumejapadki, Nachari Prutrisaram, Srivach Kitrapasha, School of Nursing, Caleb McClung, Edris Drame, School of Law. Mariam Ishmael, I again call upon William Carpus, Dean of the Graduate School, who will present the candidates for master's degrees. Candidates for the following master's degrees will please rise. Master of Accountancy, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Engineering, Master of International Public Affairs, Master of Music, 
Master of Professional French Studies, Master of Public Affairs, Master of Science, and Master of Social Work. <laughs> Chancellor Blank. Dean Carpus. On the recommendation of the graduate faculty, I present these candidates for the master's degree in their respective fields. On the recommendation of the faculty of the graduate school and under the authority granted by the Board of Regents of the University of Wisconsin system, you will be admitted to the appropriate master's degree and in testimony thereof, you will receive your diploma. Candidates, please be seated until the marshals instruct you to proceed to the platform. Kylie Seacrest, Angela Ablabedriaba, Abir Osman, Jinzi Zhe, Yan Zheng Lu, Jaekun Meng, Ruiz Sun, Grant Meadows, Tyler Rosera, Catherine Palm, Ben Razidlo, Yi Yi Zhao, Tongren Zheng, Lauren Lynn Schaefer, Jordan Grubb, Brad Kennecott, Atticus Sharp, Basim Jonas, Rafiq Jarur, Elizabeth Vittori, Hannah Barton, Albert Gonzalo Batista II, Natalie Yar, Chris Orr, Megan Rosler, Dong Chen, Dakota Flohog, Rishi Costin, Kimberly Ann Jose Madera Santiago, Yahoo! Willow Wallace, Hilary Brummond, Adam Schwartz, Mitali Sony, Olivia Steinmetz, Abigail Ernst, Morgan Farmer, Natalie Ariaga, Mary Berger, Christine Springer, Hongwei Wang, Yating Chen, Yu Yue Tang, Dan Hoffman, Winnie Chang, Meng Tong Li, Luke Motley, Prakriti Kunal, Arvind Venkata Krishnan, Subhash Chander Kevatha, Daniel Christopher Besinats, Kian Zhang, Shi Tao Li, Zichuan Tian, Richard Ort, Yi Zhu Lu, Melissa Enger, Danielle Fogarty, David Georgia, Laura Simpson, Carrie Oscar, Chen Kian, Bi King Tang, Han Liao, Ryan Beam, Jia Chen Zhang, Jin Peng Zhu, Rachel Craven, Mi Kyung Song, Yi Yao, Audrey Samard, Shannon McNally Wench, Joseph Marks, 
Zitong Ki, Ian Young, Quinn Laurel Hubrix, Alec Nelson, Victoria Harms, for Quan Rajput, Si Yi Wong, Elena Height, James Klett, Dong Kyung Zi Yi, Jennifer Sao, Catherine Wisneski, Edwin Suarez Zayas, Shannon Stone Collier, Recordo Thomas, Hao Kong, Xin Yang, Yi Han Zhang, Meng Wu, Brukolar Ongshulora, Celia Pazwa, Jose Adolfo Lorip Lopez Reyes, Tun Ting Zhao, Mohan Salish Krishna Yarlagada, Dervis Halil Gersoy, Yue Lian Zhu, Jia Ying Zhao, Bao Yue Zheng, Ji Shi Luan, Feng Fei Lin, Jia Han Li, Jia Yi Zhao, Chia Yuan Cheng, Varun Batra, Ying Zheng, Hong Sheng Zheng, Jian Li, Fan Yin Kong. It is my great pleasure to introduce director Scott Teeple and members of the university's Mead Witter School of Music Band, who will play our musical selection this morning, Songs to Thee, Wisconsin, arranged by Professor Michael Lacroix. Thank you, Thank you, director people and band, and band members, members, for your special contribution to your, our program today. It's now my pleasure to introduce our student speaker, Lisa Kamal, who will offer remarks on behalf of the graduating class. 
Raised in Malaysia, Lisa had never been to Wisconsin before arriving to UW-Madison as a freshman. Yet few students have embraced what we call the Wisconsin experience as fully as Lisa. She threw herself not only into her studies, but also got involved with many other enriching opportunities we offer here, both in and outside the classroom. A geology major, Lisa earned numerous honors for her academic work, including a Hilldale Undergraduate Research Fellowship, the university's top research grant. The Geological Society of America saw Lisa's potential too, presenting her with its On to the Future Award for underrepresented students in geosciences. Outside of her major, Lisa has explored her creative side through performing arts, especially dance classes. And like so many of you, she is leaving campus better than she found it. Through her work with the Malaysian Students Association, she helped bring back and invigorate Malaysian Night an annual cultural celebration. She participated herself in the production, singing, dancing, and acting. After commencement, Lisa will be returning to Malaysia to work for an oil and gas company owned by the government. I am pleased to invite Lisa to offer remarks on behalf of the graduating class. Thank you, Provost Schultz, for that kind introduction. Thank you, Chancellor Blank, senior class officers, for this incredible honor. Raise a glass to freedom. Raise a glass to all of us, telling the story of today. <laughs> In my junior year of college, listening to the Hamilton soundtrack became my coping mechanism that would get me through the day. In case you don't know of the musical written by Lin-Manuel Miranda, it tells the story of an orphan and immigrant who became one of the founding fathers of America. After listening to the album, I dove into the fandom, memorized all of the songs while walking to class, waiting for the bus and before I went to sleep. I came here on a scholarship, a long way from my home in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This opportunity to be here at the prestigious University of Wisconsin-Madison did not come easy or cost little for any of us. My hopeful freshman self had started out college with big dreams. I wanted to make the most out of my time here because just like Hamilton, there's a million things I haven't done. In the beginning, the unknown was exciting. Remember those days? I could justify struggling in calculus or chemistry because I was only a freshman. And I thought that by the time I'm a senior, I'll be a pro at everything. But as students, we juggle a lot on our plates. We juggle our studies, relationships with friends and family. And in, most, in my case, most of them were abroad, separated by a 14-hour time difference. Most importantly, we work towards the promise of a great future for ourselves. While I was carrying the expectations of many, the heaviest ones were my own. When I didn't meet them, the person I disappointed the most was myself. My second year in college, I suffered burnout to the point of losing motivation to finish this degree. I'd overwhelmed myself past my breaking point, kept chasing things that would look good on my resume, but I stopped feeling passion for anything I did or learned, and the truth was, all I wanted to do was sleep all the time. I was so desperate to find a spark of enthusiasm, the same one we all overflowed with at the beginning, only to feel so helpless. 
But friends, look at where you are. Look at where you started. You made it here to the last act. You did it day after day. You made the choice to rise up and give yourself another chance to start over every single morning. And for me, I sang like my life was a Tony Award winning Broadway musical. And believe me, you did not throw away your shot because if you graduated, having completed most of your coursework, from the comfort of your own bed, staring into your laptop, you made it. I see you. If you graduated, having spent all hours of the day in the library or evenings in coffee shops, you made it. I see you. Or if you are anywhere in between, you made it. I see you. There is everyday human experiences that give weight and substance to the certificate you're about to receive. Every sacrifice, every bit of energy you drag out of you every morning, even if all you managed to do was scratch the bare minimum, you are here today. You are graduating today, and I am proud of you. I am immensely proud of you. Now, at the end, I look back and keep thanking God, teachers and mentors, mental health counselors at the university health services, my family and friends who helped carry me through till today. I thank Lin-Manuel for writing his songs, for helping me finish my Nina story, and for reimagining diverse representations on the Broadway stage. Madison, I'll miss your winters, your sunsets, your super frozen lakes, but I look forward to the future that the University of Wisconsin has prepared me for. I love this school with all my heart. My fellow graduates, as we proudly leave this campus, remember the dark moments that shaped us from the ground up the good times that we are grateful for, and the person we became because of it. We're gonna teach them how to say goodbye, say goodbye one last time. Congratulations, Badgers. Thank you, Lisa, for your wonderful remarks. Friends, from the moment you enrolled at this university, you've been badgers. But in a moment, you will move your tassel and graduate. You'll become part of an illustrious group of UW alumni. When you leave the Cole Center and move away from campus, the Wisconsin Alumni Association will serve as a bridge, connect you to classmates and friends. It's a lifetime link to your alma mater. As you head on to the next chapter of your life, your alumni association will remind you that a piece of you remain in Madison. So please turn to the video screens and take a minute to consider all that you've done over these last four-ish years. Welcome to alumnihood.
At this point in our program, I'm pleased to acknowledge those bachelor's degree candidates who have distinguished themselves scholastically by ranking in the top 20% of their school or in college or by participating in the honors program. These graduates are attired with honors stoles, solid cardinal red or white with red chevrons. I would like these distinguished graduates to stand and ask everybody to join me in recognizing their achievements. I think Jason Day would like to, uh, or Jason Gay would like to join you after the celebration to figure out how you did it. <laughs> Got a problem here. I seem to have lost my. Uh... <laughs> All right. Let's put that back where it belongs. Otherwise, my mic will go off. All right, costume adjustment over. <laughs> At this time, we will confer the bachelor's degree candidates. And let me call upon Catherine Vandenbosch, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. <laughs> candidates for bachelor's degrees uh, in the College of Life Science, Agricultural and Life Sciences will please rise. Chancellor Blank. Dean Vandenbosch. On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, I present these candidates for the following degrees. Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business Management, Bachelor of Science, Biological Systems Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Nutrition and Dietetics, and Bachelor of Science, Landscape Architecture. Candidates will remain standing. I now call upon Vallabh Salma Murthy, Dean of the School of Business. Candidates for the bachelor's degrees in the School of Business, please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Blank. Dean Salma Murphy. On the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Business, I present these candidates for the degree Bachelor of Business Administration. Candidates will please remain standing. I now call upon Julie Mead, Associate Dean of the School of Education. Candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Education will please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Blank. Associate Dean Mead. On the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Education, I present these candidates for the following degrees. Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science Art, Bachelor of Science Art Education, Bachelor of Science Athletic Training, Bachelor of Science Dance, Bachelor of Science Education, Bachelor of Science Education Studies, Bachelor of Science Health Promotion and Health Equity, Bachelor of Science Kinesiology, Bachelor of Science Physical Education, Bachelor of Science Rehabilitation Psychology, Bachelor of Science Theater and Drama. Candidates will please remain standing. I now call upon Ian Robertson, Dean of the College of Engineering. Candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Engineering will please rise. Chancellor Blank. Dean Robertson. On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering, I present these candidates for the following degrees. Bachelor of Naval Science, Bachelor of Science Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science Chemical Engineering, <laughs> Bachelor of Science Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science Engineering Mechanics, Bachelor of Science Engineering Physics, Bachelor of Science Geological Engineering, Bachelor of Science Industrial Engineering, Bachelor of Science Material Science and Engineering, 
Bachelor of Science Mechanical Engineering and we Bachelor of Science Nuclear Engineering. Candidates will please remain standing. I now call upon Soyeon Shim, Dean of the School of Human Ecology. Candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Human Ecology will please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Blank, Dean Shim. On the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Human Ecology, I present these candidates for the following degrees. Bachelor of Science, Community, Nonprofit, Leadership, Bachelor of Science, Human Development and Family Studies, Bachelor of Science, Interior Architecture, Bachelor of Science, Personal Finance, Bachelor of Science, Retailing and Consumer Behavior, Bachelor of Science, Textiles and Fashion Design. Candidates will please remain standing. I now call upon Eric Wilcox, Interim Dean of the College of Letters and Science. Chancellor Blank. Uh, Dean Wilcox. Candidates for the bachelor's degrees in the College of Letters and Science will please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Blank. Dean Wilcox. <laughs> On the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Letters and Science, I present these candidates for the following degrees. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts Journalism, Bachelor of Landscape Architecture, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science Applied Mathematics, Engineering and Physics, Bachelor of Science Journalism, Bachelor of Social Work. Candidates will remain standing. I now call upon Linda Scott, Dean of the School of Nursing. Candidates for the bachelor's degree in the School of Nursing will please rise. <laughs> Chancellor Blank. Dean Scott. On the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Nursing, I present these candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science Nursing. Candidates will please remain standing. On the recommendation of the faculty, and under the authority granted by the University of Wisconsin System Board of Regents, you will all be admitted to the bachelor degree appropriate to the courses you have completed. In testimony thereof, you will receive your diplomas. Class of 2019, the moment has arrived when you transition from students to alumni. Tradition dictates that before degree conferral, candidates wear their tassel on the right side of their mortarboard. After commencement, to symbolize your new status as graduates, your tassel moves to the left. This is the time. Graduates, move your tassels. Candidates will please be seated until the marshals instruct you to proceed to the platform. College of Letters and Science. Lisa Numerani Mohammed Kamal. Paul Jackson II. Benjamin Gravely. Shijuan Ron. Marek Jiao. McKenna Ort. Adriana Hernandez Perez. Whitney Lasso Guevara. Samuel, Samuel Williams, Williams.
Tyler Johnson, David Mormon, Kichi Okubo, Chikako Seiki, Benjamin Swanton, Caitlin Menz, Sydney Lawson, Lauren Daly, Nelly Idianjan, Elena Kane, Alyssa Lynn Ivey, Alexandria Lazenby Johnson, Gabrielle Green, Patrick Collins, Ekaterina Milesheva, Yulila Lapstekanak, Maggie Cook, Aina Farzana Che Mohammed Fauzi, Maria Abdul Malik, Kasa Amila Mohammed Kandi, Imun Nandia Zakaria, Naomi Zhu, Xiao Lu Huang, Si Cheng Shu, William Skalecki, Xinyuan Li, Xiao Yu Xuan, Yuki Liang, Daphne Wei, Catherine Denzen, Hallie Bresky, Emma Stutzman, David Barrett, Peter Ulrich, Matthew Monahan, Joseph Levin, Brian Letkin, Charles Simon, Colin Patrick Jameson, Jonathan Thickens, William Hoor, Yi Li Yong, Jing Yi Wei, Cheng Gong, Shivayan Advandi, Dane Borchart, Lydia Schultz, Yifan Mo, Jack Curtis, Grace Gerard, Jordan Tannenbaum, Olivia Domeyer, Michael Marr, Lisa Larson, Fatumata Sise, Farhana Saidi, Zafarina Afarina Zanaho, Belle Christine, Michael Aguilar, Mitchell Costin, Wilson Liu, Sinead Prentiss, Nithya Atapatu, Jessica Bierke, Alexis Venter, Nufara Shodhada Omar, Nurliana Yasmin Zainal, Nurul Aruni Arthira Mohammed Nuri, Anis Swazani Mazalan, Fatin Nadahi Putir Nor Hazi Putera, Kaylee Horvath, Parker Wolt, Robert Muther, Jiang Yu Li, Grace Herbert. Chulwuk Ji, Junhuan Choi, Savannah Elizabeth Olson, Sarah Faye Gruber, Hannah Bremer, Alexandra Zheying Ki, Yining Wang, Ben Tao Gao, Yi Lu Zhang, Mandy Zhang, Cassie Hu, Jia Xiong, Di Wu, Jian Shen, Li Lie, Sin Qi Guo, Ji Yi Zhao, Ronan Zhang, Yikai Jin, Brian Ruschinski, Isaac Heinrich, Trevin Geyer, Anne Ritchie, Alan Sweet, Oscar Ohushin, Elin Koenig, Zachary Kramer, 
Shun Yu Yao, Hao Yi Lu, Tony Wu, Zach Gestrick, Alec Nitka, Greg Van Dyke, Evan Kibalowitz, Chris Sullivan, Dolan Stenz, Benjamin Rossmiller, Colin Bryla, Austin Hanna, Ruyaker Ruyakas, Nathan Ruyakas, John Lopez, Justin Bannister, Mackenzie Sullivan, Rachel Courtney, Zoe Brindley, Erica Bannister, Larissa Kahan, Daniel Lucerne, Paige Gorst, Olivia, Olivia Schaefer, Maggie Guerin, Anna Guerin, Sai Rohit Batula, Erin Gina, Samantha Schaff, Elizabeth Noregar, Nicholas Kimball, Kevin Lee, Jason Folk, Matthew Hansen, Jin Meng Liu, Shannon Light, Megan Barilari, Colin Guest, Kunihiro Hara, Adam Yezel, Brennan Fife, Sheng Lung Chan, Ayla Kunis, Sarah Amundsen, Hannah Weyer, Wei Hao, Zonglin Meng, Nick Brown, Bentley Apple, Janice Piolet, Iqmal Shafiq Mahadi, Sydney Soban, Tai Zong, Benjamin Bohm, Grace Victoria Bingham, C.U. Shia, Court Dryson, Ian Hansetter, Matthew Radke, Belle Nelson, Afika Ahmad Rafi, Mohammed Mushrif Fiki Mohammed Sihaigal, Mohammed Mirza Haigal bin Noor Osman, Aziz A. Hamid, Brian Guth, Huan Yao Yi, Nick Duran Husnan Badrul Hisham, Noor Ayisa Mod Nasir, Noor Lina Dalila Che Oakman, Samantha Minor, Aubryn Vandervelde, Jason Guns, Joseph Lesner, Han Yu Kai, Yi Fang Chen, Yiron Su, Zhou Yi Lu, Jordan Schutz, Claire Massey, Hazik Harith Zaba, Brenna Farrell, Samantha Schrader, Manny Zhao, Alexandria Lamb, Nicole Atkinson, Emily Cochran, Ethan Woyak, Nathaniel Taylor, Noah Lubrin, Noel Killian, Gabrielle Gutzkow, Ben Safarbi, Marin Mirak, Catherine Kanan, Charles Riccio, Chris Choi, Andy Suman Lee, Jiho Shen, Julie Prock, Connor Daniel DeYoung, Theodore Lucas, Amanda Schwabi, Alicia Evans, Erica Hao, Binghui Zhang, Tyler William Fassbender, 
Jung Min Hwan, Min Hyun Koo, Sung Jin Park, Ji Su Hwan, Megan Shong, Emily Rubash, Samantha Albrecht, Haley Ann Smiley, Michael Major, Eric Schwerftiger, Song Yu Chen, Robin Wang, Emily Layer, Sam Berglin, Jocelyn Ruiz, Yuan Jung Kim, Philip Novak, Quinn Robert Lynch, Gage Wutke, Si Chao Young, Timothy Braley, Samuel Radek, Jared Stoner, Emily Byers Olson, Mason Grady, Preston Retzlaff, Isaac Ware, James Foreman, Ryan Geller, Jake Shaw, Ryan Gontarek, Xander Rossow, Matthew Wilson, Kohesi Quandabon, Adrian Alborg, Khalil Kopas, Daniel Barr, Joseph Dominski, Rachel Lazuma, John McCluskey, Matthew Fellman, Jean Ru Wang, William Hornung, Brooke Holder, Jessica Moy, Gloria Shea, Nathaniel Hoffman, Skylin Wazilla, Michael Bookman, Claire Farnsworth, Sophia Jane, Elm Stevenson, Yubayo Lu, Annalie De Leon, Callie Cook, Abigail Strew, Elena Fry, Avery Pilot, Dylan Flynn, Paul Urbanski, Leah DeMangio, Hannah Giamarco, Taylor McQuart, Vanessa Dingman, Nikita Sandesh, Doha Awad, Emma Brickner, Caitlin Splutter, Harsha Koavala, Samuel Keel, Benjamin Blanchard, Zam Schwartz, Sarah Mahoney, James Krumi, Gao Wei Tzu, Dawson Rogers, Lucas Lively, Hannah Green, Jake Wan Lee, H.J. Lee, Colin Cassidy, Yu Cheng, Erez Peng, Chris Sipula, Rachel Poitian, Maya Quick, Caitlin Keel, Edward Larson, Marcelo Buxton, Benjamin Waller, Brent Nicolette, Cody Trotter, Tony Schmidt, Kaylee Hubler, Jack Perrin, Omar Komel Othman, Nabil Yusuf, Mackenzie Otterson, Aiden Shanahan, Madeline Krieger, Mariah Kosmer, Carly Olson, Savani Manchu, Panarin Kachintaska, Reagan Lyle, Seth T. L. Faust, James Kawapala, Samantha Linden, 
Jacob Kenzela, Sabrina Sane, Frank Parker, Shannon Dre, Jonah Mahalald, David Wesolowski, Kayla Wiedholz, Christopher Dupree, Lai Jia Yo, Charlene Chia, Jordan Wilhelm, Anissa Hacker, Mick Orchard, Wei Zhao, Tian Lan, Debu Kao, Enoch Park, Sydney Lofquist, Zi Yu Long, Andrew Nelson, Samuel Legal, Lucas Durles, Joshua Topol, Jeffrey Konetsky, Molly Plitzner, Manisha Vutker, Mattia Moon, Brian Stone, Jesse Pausick, Amy Blossom, Molly Manchon, Jacob Rollin, Quinn Meyer, Jacob Dresler, Matthew Morris, Samuel Grindel, Christian Overman, Bay Kylie, Brock Garver, Brianna Hambach, Olivia Anton, Jack Feldman, Diego Villegas, Matthew Gibson, Thomas Powell, Jacob Ross, Catherine Previtt, Michael Butler, Benjamin Shaw, French Thao Huang, Abigail Kapitz, Sophia de Guzman, Takashi Matsuzawa, Yu Chen Lin, Brock Fitzpatrick, Joseph Belts, Matthew Danden, Jacob Schultz, Nathan Rose, Kyle Malinowski, Peyton Lindner, Ryan Stefanik, Lindsay Coakley, Jiang Yao, Bailey Russo, Christopher Wills, Ariana Sagafi, William Seikau, Caleb Thompson, Alexis McCann, Brian Portland, Travis Leach, Hopi Lee, Jian Lei, Alex Mindor, Jack Reinhardt, Matthew Munns, Munish Shista, Gavin Christie, Savannah McHugh, Aisha Mo, Zay Yu, Amy Page, Nicholas Timmons, Amerik Amara Marzuki, Samantha Yeager, Naigui Tsi, Gabrielle Johnson, Tristan Stringfellow, Zachary Feinstein, Noah Liebold, Jordan Schmitz, Jay Park, Miru Park, Anant Singh, Jake Ayala, Biani Navarro, School of Nursing, Cassandra Dietrich, Tara Hamilton, Duncan Asaka, College of Engineering, Marian Abdullah Asaraidi, Nicholas Lawrence, Majed Alatabi, Hassan Aramandan, Nayi Almai, Mohammed Barabri, Faisal Alamajan, Natalie Bro, Kathleen Fife, Claire Kalb, 
Jonathan Higgins, Mitchell Dotka, Brent Bookinger, Celia Naubach, Daniel Miller, John Cohen, Sarah Johnson, Evan Williams, Grady Welsh, Daniel Devaney, Matthew Gardner, John Reimer, Forrest Hawkinson, William Karstens, Mohammed Hadi, Carter Monkey, Spencer Horton, Milo Lingard, Lauren Henrik, Sam Wolseth, Jonathan Widerging, Ryan Daly, Zachary Wolf, Sean Golke, Jackson Lanigan, Jacob Holton, Cody Justman, Hyeyong Kim, Hui Lim, Jessica Kelly, Brady Schmeling, Michelle Lee, Kinsey Kuyava, Christine Kuyava, Claire Chen, Valentina Brady, Ali Dusek, Sienna Zorro, Katerina Parovsky Zampataki, Ethan Young, Bailey Cool, Ben Gisi, Trigu Gessner, Carson Weil, Michael Cook, Elizabeth Schmida, Julia Mauser, William Olson, Morgan Patterson, Timothy Healy, Iyangong Lee, Bainkuth Sashiradi, John Tilstra, Kashit Kumar, Matthew Karras, Samantha Meyer, Britta Anderson, Scott Wildy, Alex J. Pape, Colin J. Dowda, Ryan Deo, Matthew Winter, William Moe, Jacob Stephen Ellis, Graham Dalsing, Brandon Wright, Grant Darren, Casey Miller, Carter Sweetall, Devin Ott, William Cooper, Eric Schertzinger, Chase Shuttler, Alyssa Fisher, Jord Kevin Jordan Berg, Jacob Haynes, Sean Michael Davis, Joseph Harder, Matthew Stroman, Christopher Neri, Patrick Pythoff, Ryan Castle, Nathan Jensen, John Bauer, Nathan Klopotic, Hunter Tenor, Matthew Simsky, Ruben Martin Jr., Jacob Wang, Felix Nguyen, Noah Smith, Luke Kut Ritaustitz, Chenren Wang, Louis Liu, Evan Newquist, Josie Emerson, Dylan Paulson, Tristan Einstein, Michael Gitzlaff, Samuel Joski, Casey Rupplinger, Anthony Johnson, Douglas Redeman, Eric Fergard, Jordan Daniel, Jared Steve, Steve, Richard Schneider, Andrew Victor Wartman, Andrew Wong, John McShane, Bailey Ramesh, Hannah Smoot, Tracy Rotz, Jordan Quackenboss, Ciara Happert, Sarah Yoon, Garrett Evans, Lorenzo Ramirez, Paul Smith, Joshua Widra, Jacob Sigmund, Caleb Kuski, 
Julia Garofalo, Justin Deshaw, Maximilian Rizzo, Josh Kirk Kirkowitz, Ryan Tui, Sean Cohen, Alexander Egner, Antoni Halem Gunawad, Evan Bernhagen, Joshua Perry, Shan Singil, Evan Blanchard, Scott Lee, Zach Presswell, Alexander Coach Pearl, Kevin Byrne, Ziwei Zhang, Ziru Jiang, Tony Castro, Kevin Cashman, Ryan Whist, Gabriella Bettencourt, David Sherman, Derek Tillot, Adam Check, Ryan Lacina, Bradley Charlay, Samuel Permenter, Timothy Campbell, Zachary Jens, Sandra Yokel, Abigail Clegg, Thomas Arminson, Mitchell Dorn, Weston Gumbert, Nathan Dirks, Jonathan Glasgow, Lars Dahl, Kai Hansen, Aaron Fabian, Molly DeMars, Tara Haas, Nicholas Hess, Jacob Budnick, Aaron Van Dursen, Tyler Barker, Euros Plesefic, Roberto Ogogriti, Mark Robbins, Noah Holland, Jack Metlock, Lena Hampson, Yiting Fang, Royce Wag, Ian and Henschelein, Jordan Alta Cruz, Mitchell Lakin, Matthew Bachmeyer, Amber Wenslund, James Creaser, Jonathan Solomon, Aria Comprani, Ian Doherty, Jared Solcheski, School of Human Ecology, Samantha Barr, Haley Pendergast, Tenzin Kunzel, Tai Lee, Jim Yang, Sarah Zimmerman, Taylor Lansevovich, Victoria Millet, Maiza Tarnik, Isabel Miranda, Mackenzie Ryan, Jarrett Johnson, Sarah Gibbons, Vanessa Gawan, Olivia Romano, Jordan Kios, Matthew Anis, Peter Eicholt, Ivan Delegato, Sarah Jane Nagelhout, Ricky DeCano, Katie Kalfakin, Jimmy Ginny Chi Yin Kim, Jennifer Jesse, Umaina Mohammed Sayed, Mara Howell Vandenberg, Yi Tawang, Jedediah Larson, David Paff, Michelle Zabrowski, Meryl Honey, Claire Patzner, Rachel Anderson, Kathleen Coughlin, Tiffany Bricko, Lindsay Schaff, Amelia Diane Stoberl, Anna Mori, Stephanie Lombardo, Haley Geiger, Zach Fogg, Eric Burrell, Ava Renee Beekel, Yul Yang Kang, McKenna Large, Matthew Goulet, School of Education, Jordan Little, Samantha Dorlap, Jamie Gordner, Andrew Timmerman, Brianna Whalen, Xian Fang, Ji Wei Huang, Andrea Alvarados, Ninoska Pico, 
Hannah Salsa, Claire Krieger, Faith Fuller, Aaron Union, Yuken Hao, Melinda Miller, Abigail Remiers, Teresa Nepomuceno, Madeline Ogren, Maxwell Farrow, Paige Tullis, Laura Cresson, Michaela Toomey, Jacob Timmons, Robert Stelmach, Quinton Bloom, Bianca Bockwinkle, Kennedy Jean Pipers, Matthew Zimmerman, Peter Minton, Lauren Moberg, Devin Haim, Ki Sapal, Elise Slichter, Tyson Mihi, Emmy Saman, Isaac Kint Aniza, Dunghang Yang, Bryce Hafer, Emily Nelson, Rachel Hellrood, Ann Hudkins, Abby Cothy, Abigail Sutherland, Andrew Slick, Sierra Lampshire, Austin Powell, Kaylee Selden, School of Business, Haley Boyd, JC Sugenza, Catherine Castro, Jacob Allen, Liam Conlin, Kaylin Bach, Jaden Briggs, David Protio, Matthew Blessing, Anna Lipkin, Nicole Kulsik, Sky Barron, Mary Conway, Emily Carlson, Emily Buildings, Miranda Reuter, Alex Tetzlaff, Alexander LaPlante, Dylan O'Donnell, Elizabeth Seidel, Colleen Brown, Katerina Goga, Jennifer Engelbert, Michael Fink, Marcus Tobias, Aiden Chow, Heather Rudnicki, Melanie Gross, Rachel Shower, Meg DePato, Jordan Silberfeld, Patrick Sweeney, Zachary Bertucci, Bennett Eldritch, Marshall Huberty, Brian Mays, Michael Fuchs, Matthew Schlitt, Austin Regelbrugge, Alexa Amundsen, Maggie Warshan, Matthew Capelli, Aaron Dubio, Kyle Lewis, Brian Loud, Matthew Laurie, Christopher Resch, Benjamin Caldwell, Benjamin Hansen, Cal Halverson, Mary Tolifson, Wan Chao Ji, Rei Chi Luao, Qin Yu Liao, Bengi Zhang, Pei Yu Sun, Zita Chen, Nurtis Agadarov, Anji Gu, Anthony Enka, Xiu Lian Wu, Trung Han, Christian, Christian Bell, College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Allegra Monet Holt, Michaela Art, Lin Feng Hu, Rachel Daniels, Mark Herman, Jeremy Cable, Alex Miller, Cade Alcox, Tate Kurzka, Jessica Prom, Megan Duffy, Cordell Murphy, Max Schauf, 
Mora Keenman, Caroline Hedgecock, Brent Bigler, Blake Baumkamp, Jack Jones, Daniel Bouton, Braden Powder, Tan Dreska, Nadia Atari, Dana Hamid, Kyle Scrivens, Derek Guiley, Lauren Ace, Samantha Harris, ja Jason Herdman, John Dietzen, Alexis Oliver, Connor McGinley, Edie Africano, Jem von Kushanskit, Nat Zhang, Oshin Yu, Brina Osiri, Daniel Coleman, Bailey Morning, Trevor Brost, Noah Bruner, Thor Bildi, Alex Smith, Suhaib and Baya, Adam Benton, Jackson Gregory, Ella Stree, Zachary Tracy, Mitchell Van Herwinen, Rachel Gualardo, Hansa Hawasan Salti, Gabriella Hermes, Coley Lanky, Eka Sutandar, Frost Basher, Curtis Richard O'Neill, Alec Stykos, Elizabeth Beardmore, Madison Knobloch, Elizabeth Buchholz, Alex Horvath, Joshua J. Cody, Rachel Ellen Kirshner, Brendan Cunningham, Anthony Stang, Bailey Donovan, Molly Meineke, Nurila Ahmad Damiri, Amir Malik, McKenna Anderson, Rebecca Timko, Norshaza Abdurrahim, Kairu Nisa Moed Yoti, Kevin Rataha Krishna Nan, Richard Smith, Zach Powers, Eric Western, Alexander Paso, Caitlin Verklian, Hannah Weingarten, Tyler Ratiki, Kyle Winkler, Colin Witkowski, Daniel Wester, James White, Tanner Weirs, Brendan Peppard, Henry D, Simon France, Hannah Nelson, Becca Luke, Stephanie Hoff, Ayo Dangji Akai Ray, Sienna Casanova, Morgan Carter, Courtney Denny, Molly DeYoung, Megan Manderfield, Elizabeth Chitwood, Ashley Werner, Caden Weiss, Katarina Vetter, Trabheem Justanaya, Kayla Henderson, John Henry, Renisha Carter, Paige Leon, Kayla Elogin, Carter Rushlow, Brendan Smith, Grace Garluca,
One more round of applause for all of our graduates. Congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you to the family members and friends whose support and encouragement help make today possible. Best wishes to all of you, and on Wisconsin! To conclude our celebration today, please join the university's Mead Witter School of Music Band in the singing of our alma mater, Varsity. Everyone up. <laughs>